Welcome to this video tutorial on how to correctly link back to an EBSCOhost or Gale resource. Uh, so if you've done any amount of searching on the library homepage, eventually you're going to come across a page that looks like this. Uh, in this example, this is an EBSCO page. It says select resource Western Colorado University and has a whole bunch of links that uh, will take you nowhere, basically. Uh, so this will happen for one of two reasons. Either you've walked away from your desktop for uh, more than 10 minutes or so, uh, and your browser session has timed out, essentially. Uh, or this may happen when you have copied and pasted a, a link that was temporary and not permanent. So uh, in the first case, you can avoid this by uh, keeping your browser sessions short, uh, not leaving your window unattended, uh, and tracking any keywords that you have uh, used uh, and uh, making sure that you're saving your progress on your research. Uh, the second way is to, of course, find the right link. So, let's say that you've been using the library homepage, library.western.edu, and you may be either using the All tab or the Articles tab here, uh, and you'll find a page that looks a little bit like this. Uh, in the center, you'll have your search results. Uh, on the left side, you'll have ways to limit those search results down, because oftentimes we'll have quite a few results from even just a basic search, right? However, if you are uh, walking away or prepared to go uh, do something else uh, and you want to come back to this results page for EBSCOhost, what we'll do is go over to this right hand side uh, near the top that has this share button. So once you click share, you can create a permalink uh, back to the search results page. So if you uh, want to revisit this or share it with uh, group project members, anything like that, this is the link that will bring you back. Copying and pasting this URL up in the top box uh, will get you that uh, blank forgetfulness page. Right? Uh, similarly, if we wanted only one of these, so let's say standards of beauty, if we want only one article, uh, we can use the tool on this right hand side, right? Uh, right here, the permalink button is indicated usually with these little chain links. Uh, oftentimes you'll see this on a web page that indicates that uh, this is the link that they would prefer you to use. So on uh, for EBSCOhost, you can see this easyproxy.western.edu prefix right here, and that means that it's going to um, put you through the Western uh, proxy server. So this means that whether you're accessing on campus, off campus, anywhere in the world, you will be able to get back to this page uh, reliably if you use this link, right? You may have to uh, sign in using your Western credentials off campus, uh, but uh, it will still bring you back to this page. However, just copying and pasting the permalink isn't always uh, <laughs> enough, right? Uh, part of your due diligence when you're doing research is to also copy some basic information about this article, right? At the very least, you want the title so that uh, if something did happen to this link, if, for example, you were working in a shared Google document and a team member accidentally put in a space or a period somewhere uh, and broke the link, you'll have at least some idea of what the article is, right? If you just have a whole bunch of links and a big long list, um, anything could happen to those, right? You want to leave some breadcrumbs for yourself. So that is EBSCOhost. If I go over here to this tab uh, that I have open to a Gale site, um, and this will include any Gale-owned databases, including opposing viewpoints, um, global issues and context, health and wellness, anything like that. Um, you'll have a similar format, uh, but at the top it'll be those little chains uh, in an icon, and it says Get Link. Uh, on this one, they've actually embedded uh, the Easy Proxy in here, so you don't have to worry about that prefix here. Uh, just by copying and pasting this link, you should be able to get back to it uh, off campus or anywhere in the world. Okay. Uh, unlike EBSCO, Gale has the link in the same place, whether it's on the results page or in a single article like this one. So if you were to click on results here, uh, you'll get a technical difficulties page sometimes, uh, but whether or not it's a full results list uh, or a single page, it will always be in the top right in this get link. So I hope that was helpful, and goodbye.